Hi, thanks for tuning in to watch the Steam Party plug-in how-to videos. In this video, we're going to talk about getting the uh, example project up and running so you can see how to implement it in your own game. So the first thing you want to do is go to our launcher page, our Steam Party launcher page. Here at the top, you'll see the trailer, the overview trailer, and then also the try the demo. If you haven't already, you go ahead and try the demo out before you buy it to make sure you can see what you're really going to get. Um, once you do buy it, come down to the bottom here. We have our support links. We have our projects for the different engines that we support. Uh, we'll go ahead and click and download the uh, 417 example. Uh, once we do download it, this version I'm using uh, 17D, so uh, this is actually a very new version that's been sent up recently, so I'll go ahead and download that and on G drive. Download anyways, you can trust it. And open this up, bring it over, and unzip it. Extract all, sure why not. Of course you wanna move it to wherever you want to. Put the tutor on, just keep it here in the download folder. And then what I wanna do is go into it and then right click and uh, switch Unreal version engine to the engine that you have it for. So we'll go ahead and do 417. And there we go. And hit OK. All right, well, I fast forwarded through the compiling and editor startup. Plus, on the first time you start it up, it does take a while to uh, start it up for all the shader compiling. All right, so once we're in here, uh, the first thing you want to do is we'll want to be able to see the content of the plugin. So we'll have to go down to the lower right hand corner and click on View Options. And then you'll see Engine content and plugin content. You will have to have both of those checked. Once those are checked, you're able to go over here and now scroll down to the bottom. You'll see Steam Party content. Open that folder up. You'll see all the UMG access uh, assets and textures. Uh, from here, you can also look at the, uh, the Friends panel. Uh, so we'll go to um, also the Party UI. So I think Party panel here. That'll open up. You'll see that this is where, you know, the main hub for all the UMG interactions going on. Now, how does that feed into your project? We can go back into the um, content browser, scroll back up to the third person folder, and here we'll have blueprints. We have our generic uh, player controller example and gameplay example. So if you open that up, and uh, you can sit there and see that the, uh, the party panel variable here in the main menu and how they're called, etc. So before we get too far, uh, when you do first open this up, uh, you come in, you hit play. You'll notice you'll get friends list failed to retrieve. Well, that's because Steam doesn't play well with edit with the uh, Pi Editor. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, click on it. Also, no friends are online. Actually, you're just not online. So we'll go ahead and fix that problem real quick. Um, the first thing we'll want to do is we do want to log into Steam. That's the first thing. That's a requirement. Steam is logged on. Uh, I'll go ahead and close this down. I don't think I really did anything in there, I won't save anything. Um, and then we'll go back to the folder that we were in from the install. So my download Steam Party example project folder. Uh, you wanna look at config. Now this is already set up based on the um, example project I have for Steam. So if you right click on default engine and edit that with Notepad++ or whatever your preferred editing uh, software is, uh, we'll go in here and there's some very important things that's already set for you, like the uh, net driver definitions for the online Steam net driver and also the beacon net driver, uh, the online subsystem default platform services Steam, and then also uh, your app ID. We're using the Space Wars, the generic developer app ID for Steam developers. Uh, and then also um, what we need to do is make sure we define our Steam net driver class here. Uh, and then also there's some, also some other settings for the uh, beacons. So the online beacon host, what port we're coming into, and uh, for the connection outside of the game connection. Uh, and then also the uh, timeouts that are associated with that connection also. So uh, that's where we'll make sure that those are uh, set correctly and they are with this project. So it should automatically hook up to Steam. Now, since that Steam is logged in, I will go ahead and go to the root directory and right click on the project and hit launch game this way. And that way I can actually utilize the, the Steam part of it and see it actually working. So I fast forward through the, uh, the startup of it for video's sake. And then once it does load up, uh, it could take a minute uh, for the first time you actually launch it. Uh, you might get a black screen for a few minutes for the full screen effect while it's compiling shaders in the background. 
Uh, now, once you, once you are on and hit Shift tab, you can see that, oh, Steam is hooked up correctly. So the first requirement is make sure that your Steam is hooked up correctly by hitting Shift tab and the overlay pops up. And then once uh, uh, clear by hitting Shift tab again to clear the overlay, click on the, um, uh, the Add Make a New Party icon down here and Add Players. And once that happens, uh, you should pop up your Steam's list for all the people uh, that are online to, to play with. So... Uh, as you can see, it uh, works just fine. So everything seems to be working in order. Now, the next thing to go over is, okay, well, this is great. Now you need to uh, invite people to test with. Uh, you would have to cook out the game and send them uh, the version of that. Or if you're just wanting to see how well it works, you can just uh, download the demo too and give it out and they connect up. Uh, but you would need to cook it out so that other people... You can distribute to other people to hook with you through Steam. Uh, as far as the other multiplayer modes, uh, Steam is one of the more difficult ones because you cannot have multiple Steam accounts on the same computer, so you have to have multiple accounts on separate computers. And then if you start doing de dedicated server work, you actually have to have uh, separate IP addresses uh, for that to, to hook up correctly. But anyways, if you have any other questions on getting example project up and running, uh, shoot me a comment below, and I'll try to answer the best I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.